Yo, happy new year, everybody. Today, I want to share what my 2024 creative goals are. And before I get into them, I actually want to talk about why I create goals the way I do. Now, if you don't care about this part, please feel free to skip it. I have all the sections time coded in the description, but I do recommend you stick around. I think it'll be pretty valuable, pretty interesting, and you might learn something. Now, for the last eight years before the start of a new year, I always like to sit down and set goals for the upcoming year. And I like to box them in and put them in categories. So personal goals, financial goals, career goals, and of course, creative goals. And what I like to do when I'm writing goals is I like to use the SMART method. Now, I'm gonna get a little nerdy for a second, but bear with me, I promise it's worth it. For those of you who haven't heard of SMART goals before, SMART is an acronym, so it stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Now, I don't wanna spend too much time on what each of these means. There are a ton of resources online, just Google SMART goals, and I'm sure you're gonna get a ton of results. But what I'll do is for each of the letters in the acronym, I'll put a little description, and you can pause the video here if you wanna read more. The TLDR of it all is you wanna create a specific realistic goal that you can measure and it has a date for when it will be completed now an example of this is instead of saying something general like i want to make more music in 2024 you could say i want to complete two songs in each month of 2024 i know this sounds nerdy as fuck but this is how i keep myself accountable and i promise that it works whenever i have goals that are too broad too general too wishy-washy the chances of me succeeding at them are very low but i'm curious what you guys think of this am i being too extra let me know in the comments now onto my goals. Okay, so my number one goal for 2024, if you're watching this video, you may or may not be excited about this one, is that I wanna to commit to posting a lot more on YouTube. I've been slacking the last few years, and so I wanna get back on it. And in past years, I've made the mistake of setting goals that are way too aggressive. So for example, I've said in the past that I wanna post one video every week, and I'm not a full-time YouTuber. Posting one video a week, it is very difficult. I do this part-time, I have a regular nine to five, and so I try to squeeze it in on weeknights and weekends. So yeah, long story short, posting one video a week is too much. So what I'm committing to for this year is posting six videos per quarter. Now, I know it sounds a little silly to say six videos per quarter. There's a reason why I'm doing it that way. And the reason why is sometimes life gets really busy in one specific month. So instead of making the goal posting two videos each month, which works out to six videos a quarter, instead of saying that, I want to give myself a little bit of a bigger time frame so that if I have a really, really busy month, maybe I can like post just one video in a month and then like I can catch up the next month by posting three and have it, you know, average out. So ultimately, as long as I post six videos, and a quarter i'm doing good so that's what i'm gonna aim for let's see if i actually do it and you guys can also hold me accountable if you guys see that it's been a while and i haven't posted you guys can leave me comments and you know make me feel bad about the fact that i'm not accomplishing what i set out to do and on that note if you haven't followed my instagram music page please follow it and you can dm me there directly my second creative goal for this year, and this is something that I've been slacking on since the pandemic started, is to go to more events for creatives, network with more creatives. I was actually doing a great job at this up until the pandemic. Like I went to a ton of events in 2019 and in 2018, but after the pandemic happened, I don't know, I forgot how to be social, I forgot how to network. And also a lot of the companies and like the organizations that were throwing events here in New York City stopped doing it and it took them a while to kind of get back on their feet. So kind of as a combination of all those things, I stopped really attending events and so I want to get back on that this year I definitely want to meet more creatives it's always cool to get around like-minded people and folks who, who could inspire you to do new things one truth about me is that even though I was born and raised here in New York City I've pretty much been creating solo dolo locked in a room uh, pretty much my whole life like I've just been kind of like an internet creator like obviously producing music oftentimes can be like a really like lonely thing it's just you and your laptop and so i've done that pretty much my whole life so i want to try and like force myself to leave my room and go hang out with other music producers other creatives other people who create video content all that stuff it's always really inspiring to get out there so i want to do that more now my third and final creative goal that i want to share with you guys is the most wishy-washy one for sure like it's not i don't have I'm, I'm trying to not commit as hard to this one but it is something that i want to get into and it's that i want to be more active on instagram and in general i just want to be more active with creating short form vertical video content the cool thing about this content now is that because you know everybody's copying TikTok, like literally you can make a vertical video and repost it on YouTube Shorts, repost it on TikTok, and repost it on Instagram. So that's a that's something that I want to do more of. I did a little bit in early last year, and so I want to try and get more into that so I can continue building my community on YouTube, yes, but also on some of the other social platforms. 
And with that, I'll do a shameless plug. Please follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I have all my links in the description. So check me out. Now you'll notice that I did not have a goal to create like a hundred beats or like create an album this year or anything like about creating music. And the reason why is because I'm always kind of creating music here and there. And so that's not an area that I feel like I'm really slacking in. Where I'm really slacking is in the creation of content. And I've noticed that like the creating of content for me at this point is actually more important than the creating of music because like I have so many unreleased songs in my hard drive that I'm trying to release. And so really what I need to do now is like take from all that music that I created and build content around it. For example, the song classic that I just put out on Ableton Live Performance of is a song that I've had done for over a year now. And so I was like, you know what? Like, let me find a creative way for me to present this song to the world. And so I've made that Ableton Live Performance and you know, I've gotten a good reaction from it. And so creating a video like that, where I can put out a song in a unique and creative way, I just feel like my chances at having people connect with the music is higher if I put out a song in that format versus like just putting it up on Spotify and asking people like, hey, can you like listen to my song, link in bio? So I'm trying to be more creative about it. And um, long story short, I got a lot of music in the tuck. I got a lot of songs that are ready. I want to share them with you guys in creative ways throughout this year. And obviously I'll continue to create songs as I go. That's something that I never stopped doing. But yeah, ultimately it just feels pointless to put out music without having a good enough content strategy for a promotion to go along with it. So yeah, those are my creative goals. I also have some like personal health goals. I have like financial goals. I have goals with my career, things that I want to do in the crib. I have a bunch of like other goals that are kind of more personal that maybe I'll share in a separate channel or something at some point if folks are interested. But I wanted to share my creative ones with you guys and let me know what you guys think. Do you have creative goals for this year? What do you guys think about the way that I put together my goals? What do you think about the goals that I selected? Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new around here. Peace out, guys. Much love.